Hello, welcome to Straight to Coding. Today we are going to talk about how to retrieve public key and private key from X509 certificate. In .NET, digital certificates are represented by the X509 certificate version 2 class. Located in the cryptography X509 certificates namespace. In in cryptography, X509 is a standard format of public set key certificates and are used in many internet protocols. An X509 certificate binds an identity to a public key using a digital signature. So I've got here a certificate service class and in here I've got a test certificate uh, which is in base, 63, six, base 64 and a test password okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to conv convert from base 64 into bytes and then I'll create a new instance of x509 version 2 class using the bytes and the password and then I'll set the key storage flags to exportable so here I will have the certificate okay as 509 certificate and then I'll extract the RSA private key from the certificate. Now once I have that, I can now get the public key information from the key and then also the private key into byte arrays. Once I have those two, I can then use the PEM encoding class to write the public key into char array and also do similar one for the private key using the PEM encoding to get it into char array. Once I have both in char array, I can now convert both into a string, which is the private key and the and the public key. I will return the result to the UI so we can ex inspect it in the form of a model. Okay, let's now run the API and see what we can do. Whilst that is loading up, I've got here a just okay. So uh, now. Is ready what we have here is just a data controller and what the data controller does is it, there is a get method on it and all it does is it just calls this method to extract the key from the certificate okay so now that we have it running what we will do is we'll make a call to the endpoint we just make a request to the endpoint and we can just do a step through one by one so now let's step through step by step and then see what we are doing here okay so again convert the certificate into from base 53 into bytes and now with the password and the exportable flag we create the certificate extract the RAC key from the certificate and then export the, the public key information and the private key uh, from that and then using the PEM encoding we will write both the public key and the private key into char arrays and then convert that both the private key PEM and the public key PEM into string public keys okay so what we have here is we're now going to um, we're going to display that onto the UI and then we can now talk about it on the UI okay so let's see the response that we get back now we have both the public key and the private key and always as always the public key start with this comment as public key begin public key and then it ends with end public key and then the private key also begins with begin public key private key and then ends with end private key so these are the two keys that you need you can extract from a certificate okay you have a certificate you can now with a password you can extract both keys and then you can then make use of the, the both keys whichever way you like so that's how to retrieve uh, both public key and the private key from a certificate don't forget to subscribe to the channel and as always hit the notification button thank you guys